How's it going guys? So Nathan Nathan JY Garage, we're gonna shoot a voiceover video today of how to fix a misfire on a BMW M52, M52 TU, M54, M56. We're using a new GoPro, but we don't have the mic adapter in as I explained to you here in a few minutes. So bear with us, we're down to the last day or two from having everything to make that work. Light's really weird in here, sorry about that. Uh, we are using the road mic with this camera, with the old camera. So we'll go through a few things here. Let me, got, let me know what you think of the quality of the video. Uh, I think it looks pretty good from my, my standpoint, but let me know what you think. That's it guys, I'll see you here in a couple seconds. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off here first of all by taking the vanity cover off, take the oil cap off, take the one little bolt out, I only have one of this one, the back one is already gone. We'll lift this off. That'll reveal the coil packs. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and pull the number one coil pack out. Depends on which cylinder you have uh, that's misfiring. So as we pull that out, we're gonna be looking for oil on the tip of the coil pack, at the tip of the coil and pull it out. Looking for oil down the spark plug tube tunnel. And also recommend to change your spark plugs every uh, every 40,000 miles in these engines to make sure it keeps running good. So you can see the coil pack, there's no oil on the tip of this one. Uh, you wanna check that out for sure. Uh, also the coil pack could be bad. Uh, switch with a different cylinder if you think that's the case. Move it on here. I'll zoom in here, I'll show you where to look for the oil down in that spark plug hole right here. You see it pretty good with this camera. And like I said on this one, there's nothing in there at all. And moving on here, we'll check for some vacuum leaks. A leaky CCV or intake boot can also cause random misfires. You see the mouse nest on top of the intake. We check in this little line here going to the vacuum equalizer that goes with the CCV. Check that for brakes. This car does not have a CCV. Also, you can see right here that it's broken. The intake boot, that'll cause a random misfire or misfire of cylinder one and three or five and three. And look for rips in the bottom boot. Look for rips in the little one inch boot going to the auto control valve. And then you also wanna check out the little vacuum line coming from the secondary air valve. You can see right there fall out the back, make sure it's not ripped or torn off. You know, pretty much I'm showing here, M52TU has the vacuum line cut off going to the CCV uh, that gets rerouted in the rear. Also check the, the vacuum caps on the rear of the intake and make sure they're not rotted off. There's two of them on these engines and check all the hoses running to the back. You can pull a little cowling piece out on E46. Also a mass airflow sensor being bad could also cause random misfire too, and transmission shipping. So just remember if you do all this stuff and you still have the misfire, next would be do a compression test. Uh, if you have low compression in the cylinder, don't freak out. It doesn't necessarily mean anything's terribly wrong. Uh, you go through and you can see my other video, I'll try to find it to put it into this video, uh, where you put an ounce or up to two ounces of fuel injector cleaner down the spark plug hole let it sit in the cylinder overnight, and a lot of times that'll fix it if the problem is buildup on the rings from the CCV putting trash in the, in the cylinder. So, if you guys even hear me or not, the new mic cord is not in the adapter to make this all work out. This is pretty much all the stuff you need to check on your M52, M52 T, and M54. Uh, for random misfire. I dubbed over the audio as you can tell it's so muffled with this and I can make it so nice and clean inside. Um, the mic adapter should be here in two days. You know it's kind of my bad. I thought that we could actually just uh, buy that anywhere around here. It's terribly mistaken. Best Buy said they had it in stock. They didn't. They had to order it. So we're basically just waiting on part. But hopefully this video helps you guys out today. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you.